everyone welcome to today's video so today i thought i'd do a bit of a half house tour upstairs is still needs some work so we're just going to focus on the downstairs so we're going to look at the empty part and then i'm going to show you the most current part and going to talk about what i've done and what i plan to do in this year so i hope you enjoy please do give the video a like and please do share and subscribe if you do and let me know what you think Okay, so this room was decorated first and this was decorated before I'd actually moved in. So I, I originally was going to do one wall, this colour brown, and I went for the whole room, which I love this colour. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, which is completely fine, but honestly, it makes the room so warm. And I think the reason I can get away with it is because I have such a large window which has a lot of light coming in and because the kitchen also brings in a lot of light I can also get away with it being a bit darker in here so basically what I've done since moving in so I've done the double rail for the curtains because I add in the ceiling to floor curtains really make the room feel so much bigger just makes it feel like it's like a bit of a hotel vibe in here <laughs> but I love I love the, the the two combination together it just makes it so cozy I absolutely love the the two I put my I don't actually turn this on very often because it's quite bright but it is good if you're reading and I have my snug chair there so it's definitely good to have at the moment it's just more for decoration side of it <laughs> then i have my fireplace in the middle of the room so if you're familiar with my last house this is pretty much the same setup with the wood down the side i wasn't sure whether to keep it or not because i didn't know where to put it at, at first but i think it works quite well right now and i've gone more minimal this year i'm not having as much stuff out but saying that i've already been told that i do still have a lot of stuff out but for me this is not a lot but yeah so i've just got a few things out i kept these out for, from christmas i was brought that one as a gift and i had that one but i just love these houses i'm absolutely obsessed they're so cute my mirror obviously that was it from the last house which i loved i had it in the hallway last time so lovely i got it from Danau. i think like i think it was like 50 pounds such a bargain i thought so over here for my tv unit so i've put the tv over in this corner and it's on a bit of a slant so that we can kind of see from both chairs and yeah so these were the two units from ikea which i, I brought when i moved in and and yeah i need to organize the inside of them because they are a mess so that's on my to-do list if you remember from my last house this was in the kitchen and there was no way I could get rid of it. I absolutely love this shelf because I made it. I thought it worked quite well above the TV and the colour kind of goes okay in here, I think. So yeah, I put that there. Uh, the room definitely needs some touch up on the paints, by the way, you'll see marks. And especially here, this is from the cats. <laughs> so this was the picture that I had from the old house, which I just think works perfect. In this living room, the colours are just beautiful. This is all my kind of favourite warm orange reds like the yellows love them and obviously here's my sofa now i'll tell you the plans what i want to do this year in this room but for now this is the sofa from the old house and then i brought two showers from i think these were from home bargains and i thought they worked quite well like that i still need to do something in this space because it does feel a bit empty here but i'm not sure yes but at the moment that's kind of just there and then i just went for a paper light shade from Danone, which were like two pounds something i think i think they are really nice i love them and then down here is the cat toys in the box which is overflowing <laughs> so this was the rug from the old house and I, I did have it in the kitchen originally and i brought it into the living room and I think it's so much nicer in here and it actually brings a bit more light in here because the carpet's quite dark so this just broke up that dark grey carpet underneath so yeah I'm really pleased I brought it in. So this is the living room.
Okay, so into the kitchen. So the kitchen, I think, has changed loads since moving in. This is the newest addition which I made, and I'll link the video if you want to watch that. I made this island. As soon as I saw this kitchen, when I viewed the house, my first thought was, I want a kitchen island. I always wanted a kitchen island, but my kitchens have always been very small, so it's never been an option, but I always dreamt of having a kitchen island. And I just saw this big space and I thought I want an island because I had the dining table, which was there, but the dining table went and it was a great opportunity to invest in this. And honestly, it's changed everything. I absolutely love this island. We eat breakfast up here, we eat dinner, and yeah, I just love it, absolutely love it. So I've got an extra stool for guests or guest <laughs> if we have a guest over. But yeah, the two stools is what I got when I did the island. So again, the kitchen I've gone trying to go a bit more minimal with having stuff on the side. This is like the drink station and then I keep like all teas and coffees in the cupboard and then just like basic bit of cooking stuff. Keep a lot of stuff in the cupboards. If you want to see like a like, what's in my cupboards video, just let me know and I'll do that. But they, you will be shocked because they're not tidy. <laughs> but that's on my to-do list also. I'm trying to keep the sides a bit more minimal. I love the, I do love this worktop. It's so lovely. And then I've got the windowsill, which I keep quite clear and an empty vase, which I need to fill. So for the island, so this has given me so much more storage, honestly. I, I haven't filled all of these yet. They're just brilliant. Absolutely love them. Um, and I've got all this big space here. Ignore my ironing pile, ignore the cat food. <laughs> ignore the litter tray. So I did the clad in here. This changed the whole room. I'm so happy with it. It's not perfect. Again, I'll link the video. Honestly, I need to put some stuff on it because I haven't got anything for it yet, but absolutely love it. And I bought this for the TV specifically because I did try to put the TV on the wall, but I, it wasn't strong enough. So I decided to get something to put the TV on and that works well. And again, in here, I have the ceiling two floor curtains with the double rail. Ah, oh, honestly, I can't tell you how much it makes a huge difference. The room feels bigger because you've got the, the whole of the curtains it feels so big and it feels so warm and cozy and just it really just changes the whole room when you have have the doubles yeah really love that so yeah this is the kitchen okay so now my plans are what i want to do with the living room this year so i'm thinking i want to paint this wall just this wall cream and i've got i think in i might use the color that was on the cladding because i've still got almost a whole tin of paint and it should be enough to do a whole wall so that's what i'm planning to do just to give the room just that little bit more brightness and break up all the brown and what i do want to get is a whole new sofa set i want to get a matching three-seater and potentially a two-seater or one-seater i've um denied about getting a coffee table i might get one but i'm not too worried about coffee table because i'm quite happy to just have a footstool. I did want to get something to fill this area because you can see this is kind of where I do my charging and, and stuff or something quite thin that I could put like stuff on would be great. I was also thinking about the fireplace now whether or not to keep it because I've been thinking to maybe like extend to the units and just have more storage because this house does lack storage. So that's something that I've thought about maybe not having the fireplace but I would really like some bookshelves in here because having a bit more of a media wall here I guess that's my vision is, is like this be a media wall so have like all the storage and then have some sort of shelving unit around it that's something that I would definitely like to do love to change the flooring and I don't know if carpet is the most suitable because it's a very busy walkway through here so I'm thinking wood and I would like flooring in here which I'll put an image up of what I would like so yeah that's what I was thinking and I was thinking to have that all the way through into the kitchen also so for the hallway I want to change the flooring definitely I'm thinking like black and white checker I really really want to have that somewhere in the house and I think that could work well here so for the kitchen I definitely said I want to change the floor uh that's going to be a big one because it's really big space and the big change in here for me is going to be the cupboards I must say I do rent my house and I always ask permission before I do anything in my house and they said no then I wouldn't do it for instance I asked if I could do that and they said that was okay so I do always check before I do stuff I do want to change the cupboards I want to either just I want them to be either all white with I would get all new handles to match this that's what I would like on the handles the worktop I would probably just keep I don't think I'd touch the worktop because I do like it and I don't think it would be too much of an issue I mean ideally that would be great to have a wooden worktop that's probably not going to happen but the doors I think should be okay to do but like I said I will always ask permission first I'm also considering navy or 
at least half navy, half white, because I really do love navy, and I think it would go nice with the brass handles also. So yeah, that's going to be the biggest one for this year is the doors. That's my next kind of like on my next list because I really want to finish the kitchen in this side. We'd like to do something here, just something really small, like just get an accent chair and maybe a little table. Not not huge plans for here, just sort of make this look a bit nicer because there's just nothing. <laughs> yeah, maybe get like a runner. Yeah, so that's kind of it for the kitchen. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the half house tour. I've got quite a few plans and I want to focus on the downstairs first and then get upstairs, but I'll do that for another day, the upstairs, because I do have a lot of plans, what I want to do in my bedroom and the bathroom specifically. And yeah, I'm really excited to get going this year i love making my house a home i love being at home i'm just happiest when i'm here so i want to make it as cozy and as homey as possible and i hope you do watch my journey as i do all these things as i do love to do a bit of diy and yeah i'm excited so that's all for today and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>